welcome to the channel welcome to another year and welcome back to another lawn care season keep it simple and just mow ready set go but not just yet the lawn is still dormant there's still a little bit of time before the growing season kicks in one of the most important thing that you need to do right now is to prepare for the growing season and the most important step is applying your pre-emergent now before you apply your pre-emergent you typically want to give your lawn a buzz cut maybe go one or two notches below where you typically cut during the growing season some people prefer the scalp that's perfectly fine but let me just make it clear scalping is not a requirement the only purpose to scalp is to have a faster green up much more faster than the neighbors around you so scalping is optional but if you do scalp you're going to get a better looking lawn now i did scalp my lawn i did bring it down as low as i can go with the real mower and i did want to try something else something new i decided to burn just a small section of my lawn just to see how it would turn out and it actually did not turn out pretty good mainly because my height of cut was really low to begin with and the fire didn't have a chance to actually catch and start burning appropriately so burning is not something i'm going to do this year in fact it's not something i recommend the average homeowner do anyway because burning you gotta really know what you're doing and you gotta be extra careful and take extra precautions so it's not something i recommend for the everyday homeowner scalping is one of those things where you're gonna remove a lot of the dead material a lot of the dormant material in order to make way for new growth but remember scalping is not mandatory it's just optional the most important thing that you need to do this time of year is put out your pre-emergent i cannot cannot stress this enough a pre-emergent is going to save you a lot of headaches moving forward take a look at my lawn I applied my fall pre-emergent and the pre-emergent is usually applied during two cycles once in the fall and once in the early spring and last fall I did apply my pre-emergent and I barely have any weeds this turf is about one and a half years old maybe going on two years and I have very little weed and what little weeds I have I typically go ahead and hand pull them this is what a pre-emergent does it prevents weeds and keeps it under control so it's not a major issue and you can just go ahead and pull them by hand a pre-emergent is also going to save you a lot of headaches and when it comes time to use a post-emergent to kill the weeds it's going to limit the use of post-emergent the ultimate goal for any homeowner is to try to limit the use of any type of post-emergent or weed killers my own pre-emergent program involves me using two split applications of a pre-emergent my first one is usually a granular product probably a lesco 007 or a sunnyland 007 i typically like lesco 007 mainly because it's much more easier to find and i have a home depot next to me so it's not hard to find it's much more easier for me to get there as opposed to lowe's but you can use any granular product so i put down my first granular app i wait about four maybe six weeks tops but i try to wait at least four weeks minimum and then for my second app you can go ahead and apply the same granular product or i personally like to use a liquid product something like a prodiamine or dithiopia but i find i have better success using a granular as my first app and then a liquid as my second app mainly because i know this from experience that no matter how well you apply a granular app you're gonna have bits and pieces of gaps in coverage so what i mean by that is granulars tend to spread wherever they fall and you really have no control on exactly where they fall you have a general idea where they go but you don't have precise control so you'll have bits and pieces of gaps in coverage not a big deal not a deal breaker this is why i do a second app and if I was to use a granular product, I would go ahead and do a second application just to make sure I have those gaps in coverage covered. But I like liquid because liquid, you have more control over where you're applying. So wherever you spray, you're applying it exactly where you're spraying. And you can cover those gaps in coverage for any missed spots you may have when you applied your granular product but like i said before i typically like to go ahead and scalp first then apply my pre-emergent some people would apply their pre-emergent and then scalp 
maybe a couple weeks after and that's perfectly fine but the most important thing is to water in your pre-emergent guys if you don't water it in you can do half the work you can put it down but if you don't water it in the pre-emergent is not going to work as effectively it has to get down into the soil in order for it to take effect and a pre-emergent does not kill i repeat a pre-emergent does not kill your existing weeds all it does is prevent new weeds from sprouting up now there's certain situations that may happen maybe you're a little bit early on your pre-emergent application timing or maybe the timing has passed for you and you're a little late for it it doesn't matter what your situation is whether it's too early or too late especially if you're dealing with excessive weed pressure if you're dealing with weed pressure go ahead and apply your pre-emergent it's not going to hurt anything it's better to be too early as opposed to too late and it's better to be too late as opposed to not putting anything down at all so timing is critical now is the time to put out your pre-emergent the pre-emergent is going to save you a lot of trouble down the road so trust me on this the only time you would not put out a pre-emergent is if you have new sod and in this case you want to allow a full growing season or one year for the sod to take root for bermuda lawns because our growth season is typically when it's hot around the summertime usually one growing season is more than enough to allow the bermuda to take root so if this is your situation don't apply a pre-emergent other situations where you don't want to apply a pre-merger is if you plan to seed. But here is a little caveat to that. If you have a warm season lawn like Bermuda, you typically do not want to seed your Bermuda because the seed is going to be slightly different than what you have right now. And what will end up happening is your grass will start to have two different tones and you may not notice it or an average person who's coming by your yard may not notice it but it's going to really bother you and you're going to notice it so don't seed there's no reason to seed unless you're doing a fall application of overseeding that's a little bit different another common situation that you may have come across is maybe you did apply a pre-emergent but you're noticing weeds still starting to break through and that's okay so sometimes that will happen especially if you have weird weather patterns or if you're dealing with an area that has very bad erosion control or there's lots of water that's flowing through constantly so sometimes things like that happen is beyond your control you just ultimately have to fix your drainage situation but a pre-emergent still did protect you and you may not realize it so for example you may not have any weeds at that particular spot at the time of the pre-emergent app but then later on during the season you notice weeds are starting to grow well your pre-emergent did work but then again it wore off so what will happen is that the weeds will start to break through but even with the pre-emergent the weeds are still there but it's much more easier to pull by hand because the weeds have not had time to actually grow into the lawn so pulling it by hand will be much more easier you're going to know that certain areas in your lawn is going to start to green up faster than other parts of your lawn that's perfectly normal that typically happens when the sun shines on a particular spot more than others so the timing of your green up is going to vary depending on whether that spot get full sun or it gets part sun another common question this time of year is is it a good time to apply my fertilizer the answer to that really depends on where you are so you got to know the weather pattern in your particular area for me i'm in north georgia the chances of a last freeze typically happens around early april but the closer i get to that date the less chances of a hard freeze so if you fertilize now you'll probably push a little bit of growth a little bit faster than usual and that's perfectly fine but if you hit a hard freeze you're going to set the grass back but then again it's bermuda bermuda is an alpha grass it will recover so whether you should fertilize or not i really think it's just a personal preference me i will just hold off just a little bit longer wait until you see a little bit of of a green up or at least a little bit more green up than usual then that would be a good time to fertilize and if you plan to scalp again it's better to scalp first than fertilize it just makes more sense so if you want to fertilize wait a little bit longer then go ahead and apply your fertilizer what fertilizer you use is really depend on what you prefer and what you can afford i really like pgf complete 
because it has that broad range of micros and macros and I've had very good success with it. So whatever brand you want is perfectly fine. I've used Scott's in the past. I've gotten pretty much the same results. The only thing I find with Scott's or those other chemical fertilizers is that you gotta be careful on how much you apply. You can actually burn your lawn, but in any case, decide for yourself what type of fertilizer you get. This is probably a good time to stock up on it now. I would stock up on maybe four bags or at least four applications depending on how much yard you're dealing with. So for me, I'm gonna probably buy enough to get four applications of fertilizer just spread out over the spring and summer period. So guys, this is the time. This is the time to get ready. Get ready for that growing season. Do your scalp, not required, but preferably you can scalp or you can just give it a buzz cut. Bring it down a little bit lower than your typical height of cut. Then allow it to grow back up. Go ahead and apply your pre-emergent. This one is probably the most important step. Pre-emergent, pre-emergent, pre-emergent. Get it down now.